Hey guys, it's Sam and today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite witchy resources. So I have way more to talk about than I originally thought that I did, but I am definitely limiting this to resources and things I feel are educational. So I'll be talking about YouTube channels, TikTokers, some Instagram, a couple of books, and some like groups like online forums as well. But like I said, I'm limiting this really to things that are educational. So less like aesthetics or entertainment based, even though some of these things are very entertaining. But I'll get to that when I talk about each individual platform because this will affect some more than others. So first, even though I actually was more not introduced to witchcraft because obviously I've known about it for a while, but the thing that got me like less scared of witchcraft witchcraft was actually TikTok and witch talk. I would talk about that a little bit more in my like woo-woo spiritual journey so I will link that video that I did about that on the screen so you guys can figure out more about like how that worked. But I actually find the most informative place for me is YouTube. So I'm going to talk about those YouTube creators first. So with YouTube, like I said, I am focusing much more on the education than the aesthetic. So with that being said, I am not going to talk about The Green Witch or Witch of Wonderlust. I think both of them are actually very educational and aesthetic, but I find that I don't watch actually a ton of their videos. One, The Green Witch is like such a soothing voice that like I can't even focus on her videos. <laughs> like some people may find her like great in can really focus like I can't because she's like too soothing and I love like watching their videos but I find that because they appeal to more like broad topics I'd say I find that I get more out of some still beginner stuff but that goes more in depth than some of these other channels that I'm talking about so no I'm not mentioning them but I still do like recommend them but you probably already know about them anyway so I'm gonna talk about some ones that you might not know about as much the first the creme de la creme in my opinion the channel that I've watched almost all of her videos is Hearthwitch Hearthwitch has so many videos and what I really like about her is like she goes in depth in one individual topic for like a while. She's like kind of, she goes in depth, like she's very detailed. I wouldn't even say that she's long-winded. I find her personality like really cool and I really like her and she's really good at being like build your own practice but don't be an asshole. Like here's, she does a whole thing on like the wheel of the year and like all the individual holidays. She does like some spell stuff but like I don't tend to watch a lot of videos uh, from people who are like posting their spell work. Like she will post more like ideas, the history of things. She does a lot of like in-depth live streams where people just ask her questions and I get, I like watch those even now, like not when they're live. And she just has like all this information. Like she's the one that I really like dove into her channel head first when I first was getting into witchcraft and have learned like so much from her. She's not like Wiccan or anything. She is, she's pagan. She has a couple of Celtic deities, I believe. So she talks about some deity work, but it's not too much. She definitely doesn't feel like, oh, you have to follow a certain thing. She just is really informative, talks about different kinds of magic, how you could do that kind of magic, different elements, like anything you could really want to know is probably gonna be on her channel. The second person I would say is really like this also is Scarlet Ravenswood. I believe Scarlet is Wiccan or used to be Wiccan. Definitely is pagan but I can't remember. But again, another like very non-biased, both of these people are not super like gatekeepy or like, you know, just they don't talk down to you on their videos, like very beginner friendly, but also intermediate to advanced because they will talk about more in-depth things. Tally is watching the turkeys outside who are like a block away, but she, she hates them. But Scarlet again has some similar videos to Hearth, like I've watched both of their videos on, again, like holidays and just like witchy topics in general. Like they just cover everything and I really like both of their videos and both of their personalities as well. Then we have Kelly Ann Maddox. Kelly Ann has longer videos that I don't always watch and sometimes goes like very, very in depth in things. But what's great about Kelly Ann is she does a whole thing about shadow work. Like shadow work is a really big focus. She has a whole shadow work series. She has a whole self love September every September where all of her videos are about like self love, which I think is great. It's just very good about that like, intuition, journaling, like getting in touch with your inner self and how that affects witchcraft and also some just like general topics, not so much, my brain wants to say theories, but not so much theories, but just like how we as a community talk about things. So she's really great about that. Then we have Sedna Wu, who I talked about a little bit in my like introduction to my journey video, but she is an atheist witch. And I really appreciate that because atheist witches are like so hard to find. And I personally identify as an agnostic witch. I'm not completely like, limiting the ability for me in the future to maybe do deity work but I see it if I do deity work and this is how she sees it as like I'm tapping into that like symbolism of that deity and like that archetype but not necessarily that I'm actually talking to a god. That could change as I said in my like spiritual journey I'm completely open to like my beliefs changing. I'm not gonna sit here and like 
say I'm gonna feel the same way this whole time because I would have never thought a couple years ago that I would be into witchy stuff. But a lot of things she talks about I really appreciate because she kind of talks about how she walked through and figured out you know how she felt about certain topics having to do with like witchcraft and stuff and religion and it's something I never had really seen anyone talk about online before and she really helped me like again not have so much fear based around like witchcraft and see it from a different lens, a more psychological lens, which is my take on it as someone who's a secular person. And last we have the White Witch Parlor who I've discovered a little more recently but I did want to mention. She definitely has a lot of videos, again, similar to other people where like some like topics, I think she does a little bit more spell work than some of the other people that I follow, but good for just like beginner intermediate type topics. You'll notice here that I don't have any like tarot card readers on here, although I love tarot and I will sometimes watch some tarot channels more about decks. I don't find follow like tarot or oracle card readers that do like pulls and stuff because I don't find that helpful. I would rather do my own tarot spreads. Like I don't follow tarot channels because I just don't find it super helpful to like get a reading from somebody that is like a mass reading. I don't know. I, I know that it's really soothing to a lot of people, but that's personally not what I look for in like witchy channels. So next we move on to TikTok. Like I mentioned, TikTok is where I really like started and probably like my still, YouTube and TikTok are my two like biggest sources. Oh, man, they're all big sources. I, I check all this stuff daily. But TikTok is still where like I got some of my introductory content and I was really fortunate that I got introduced to TikTok and like the witch talk side of TikTok with people who were really educational. Like some of these people are the first people that I ever saw. So I never got like when everyone talks crap about witch talk and being like it's all kids who don't know what they're talking about and like are making stuff up and being dramatic like I didn't get that because I'm older obviously and I am a millennial so my for you page was very much geared towards like an older population I say older as if we're like ancient but you know like it wasn't the teens and stuff so I got much more of the like older practitioners that I was introduced to that were giving more educational information some of these people still do have entertainment type videos but they are more educational than the other ones that I've seen since discovering them so the first and my favorite creator is chaotic witch aunt she also has a YouTube channel now and I really like her videos as well but she was the first person I ever found on witch talk she has educational videos a along with like funny videos, but they're funny videos that have like an edge of truth to them as well, but she always labels them as entertainment. She's the first person that really got me like more comfortable with witchy topics. She does work with deities and that also made me like less uncomfortable to like hear her talk about it. She also worked with some stuff that like I would probably never work with, like demons and stuff, but talks about them in a way that I'm like, oh, I don't feel like scared. Like it's been really good exposure therapy for me and like my anxiety to like watch her because they're short clips and like educational, but sometimes kind of funny. And she's great. Like she's really good about just being, being educational, but, and being informative, but also being funny and like, just really appealed to me. Like she's not super aesthetic, I would say, where like it's all just pretty, although I do, I love the pretty as much as anybody else. But like, I think you could look at her and not necessarily assume like witch, you know? And I just really liked this like new outlook that I was getting from her. And so she's my favorite. Another one similar to this is Dot Leggy. Um, she really reminds me a lot of like Chaotic Witch Aunt. Again, very like informative, but still will do funny videos. And very similar to Chaotic Witch Aunt, um, both of them actually do work with Lucifer, which again, like that would have triggered me so bad in the past and now I'm just like oh it's chill like I don't I don't I don't see myself doing it you know but like I'm okay with it now and like again very informative doesn't really talk down to people but also has like some funny videos and is just like a very fun person to watch. Another one that I discovered at the beginning was Ruby of Roses. She is a green witch and she is great and she again has funny videos but also like educational videos. We'll have some like gardening things, some plant stuff. She's the person that made me want to get into befriending my local crows which I haven't done yet but she has a video about it and I want to very badly. So she's great for that like green witch stuff. Then we have Witch and Witch. You'll see the spelling when I post her on the screen, but she's one that I've recently discovered, so I can't talk a ton about her, but again, has a very similar like educational vibe. I've seen some videos about her talking about like law of attraction type stuff and more like theory based stuff around witchcraft, which I really like. I don't know if she, because I haven't watched her long enough, I've only discovered her in the last like week or so. I don't know if she has any deities or things like that or how she like identifies, but really like that. As far as uh, the other people on the um, TikTok, all of them are like not secular because they, I think most of them have deities, but they are not Wiccan. So um, they are more like traditional witches if you're looking for people that like fit 
more what you are into. Then we have Moon Street Kits, which is probably like the most aesthetic of all the ones that I'm gonna talk about, but I love watching her videos because she has like an Etsy shop um, and she like will pack up like witchy supplies and stuff and I just get very inspired even though I haven't bought anything from her yet and I probably like I don't know if I ever will because some things I probably could make myself but she gives me ideas for like things to make. I also just like love watching her like pack up her little boxes with stuff and I, pro I probably will order something at some point. It's very pretty but she also will post some like educational stuff as well. Then we have Autumn Witch XX again like most of these people now I'm just gonna kind of be repeating myself. She is very educational, will also post some funny stuff, is more of like a intermediate witch maybe I think has deities I don't know like some of these I'm kind of like I just see them on my for you page and I really like them but she all of these people are gonna have like a similar you know they have educational stuff mixed in with their fun stuff then we have Hannah Tarrant 3 I discovered her because she talks about mythology a ton mostly Greek and Norse mythology but she does like whole mythology videos on specific gods love her. Um, she does like the educational like in-depth here's going over all their myths and their stories and here's the modern interpretations and all this stuff and I adore her. So I think I discovered her from first either a Persephone or a Hecate video and now I've watched like nearly all of them on all the gods she talks about. Then we have two people that kind of fall into like a similar camp for me. One is Hitcha, Hitcha Weon. I'm not sure how to actually say her name. She is not necessarily a witch. She considers herself an occultist or like a practitioner. She's also atheist but is very very research focused. I don't watch her videos like all the time sometimes because sometimes she does reaction videos where she doesn't really say much of anything and then she also will sometimes get very into like the witch talk community discussions which like I don't really care so much because I'm like I don't care what people are doing that's problematic because I'm not even seeing it because with TikTok it's so your for you page is so catered to you so like she'll be talking about things that are going on and it's not a problem with her content I'm just saying that like why I don't watch her necessarily all the time she'll talk about things that are going on and like kind of putting people in their place like she's really good about call outs with people but then I'm like I don't even know what's happening because I'm not into that and also sometimes I'm a little like why are you even giving it attention at this point because some of the stuff is very like they're just looking for attention you know but I do really like her for like she just talks about a lot of like occultist type stuff which is not so much like I don't identify as like an occultist I identify as like witch woo woo like secular witch you know like that kind of stuff um but she is really like informative and just really good about like hitting people with facts. The same is true for Sest Bonbon. Um, she is really great. I really like her personality and she does a lot of like funny videos that do border on like snark a lot which is funny but also like does educational with funny videos with snark. She also has a channel but she doesn't post as frequently on her YouTube channel but she's another person who gets like sometimes a little bit more involved in like I wouldn't say the drama but just like putting people in their places that like I'm not even seeing so I'm like I I didn't know about this until you talked about it. <laughs> so like I'd rather just not even kind of hear about it. Not from a place of like like, I don't want to hear about drama but like just a I don't know sometimes some of the things that happen on witch talk are like people are just doing this for attention so just like don't feed them you know like don't feed the trolls so much you know but I really like her as well and I think she's really informative and really funny and the last person we have is astro forecast she's one of the only people that I follow that does like astrology only stuff she's really peppy and has a lot of energy so that can be like a little much sometimes but she's really good about doing like weekly summaries of what the astrology stuff is saying like in-depth things about different like houses and planets and retrogrades and all this stuff and I think she also has a YouTube channel a lot of these people also have like YouTube channels but she I think also has a YouTube channel that I haven't checked out yet but I really like her for like little astrology tidbits. Now we get on to Instagram. Um, Instagram is actually one of the places that have like the least listed because I follow a lot of aesthetic Instagrams and I'm not going to talk about them because I prefer actual visual like picture posts that are informative not even necessarily in the caption so some people that I do follow might post like informative stuff in the caption but I want like I'm just scrolling through Instagram I want it in the picture so I'm just gonna talk about people who have like really informative picture posts and if you guys want me to do an aesthetic Instagram recommendation I definitely have those and I can do that so let me know down below if you want that because there's probably at least like 10 Instagrams that I do follow that are just like very beautiful inspiring from that way but I'm keeping this to like resource recommendations so the first person is Lucille Witch. She is kind of a mix of some aesthetics but then also some like informative posts that are very very basic. So she'll have like posts on like candle magic or like 
stones or different kinds of things and those are the kinds of posts that I really like but she's kind of a mix of both. Then my two absolute favorites are Crafting Witch and The Witch of the Forest. They have a very similar like vibe going on but you can definitely tell whose art is whose. So Crafting Witch has this like beautiful, I wouldn't even call it like watercolor, but has like just like a beautiful art style that is just like so obvious and it has like really pretty like here's aesthetics of different kinds of witches but like in drawing form. Here's like Wheel of the Year, here's moon phases, here's how to work with moon phases, here's like little spell jars with ideas and stuff. Again, not walking you completely through the spell because I don't like following stuff like that, but like here's some ingredients to use, here's different properties of different ingredients, like all education based. The same is true of Witch of the Forest. I notice her posts mostly through like the text that she uses, but again these kinds, I save her stuff all the time. She also, Witch of the Forest posts a lot of like tarot spreads for different things, so for each full moon and I think usually new moon she posts tarot spreads that I use like basically every time. She'll also post tarot spreads for the um like for the sabbats and for like wheel of the year stuff. Um she'll post information cards about all the different holidays. She'll again she'll post like little um you know spell bags and spell jars and things to use and like ingredients. So it's a very similar between the two but slightly different but I love them both. I feel like their information doesn't like super overlap and I like I'm always constantly liking stuff by them and adding them to my story and stuff. Then we do have books which I'm going to talk about very very briefly because I've done reviews on most of these or I'm planning on doing reviews. So first we have Weave the Liminal by Laura Tempest Sackroff. I've done a review for this one that should already be posted so I'll link that on the screen if it is but this is all about traditional witchcraft and is much more about like the like theories behind witchcraft like thinking about your individual craft or individual path and is much more that than like your basic information correspondences how to do spells. There's none of like that how to do spell stuff in here it's more about like giving a lot of deep thought to like your particular path. Then we have The Green Witch by Erin Murphy Hiscock. This is one I've also done a review on so I'll link that on the screen but I do love this one as like a nice beginner book. This has both an introduction to witchcraft and how to make your own path but also like a lot of like studying things to do that are Green Witch focused. There are some different like spells and rituals in here so this is like a very good beginner like getting your toe wet introduction to everything. Like I almost recommend a book like this and then reading with liminal so that you kind of like make sure that you're into everything and like what it's gonna kind of look like on a daily basis and then talk about some of the more like theoretical I guess stuff. And lastly is a book I'm still reading and I'm only about 50 pages into it but I already recommend it. I think it's really helpful and that is Psychic Witch by Matt Aron. I will do a whole review for this when I'm done but that'll probably take me months because there are so many exercises in here of things to do. Again not like spells or maybe spells later on. I don't think there is though. It's mostly like meditation, opening up your third eye, focusing on your intuition, how to trust your intuition more, like how to be more like psychic but again not in like the psychic way that we think of it like on TV. TV, but more just like open to the energies of the world and I'm really liking this. There are so many exercises like I'm already mm, like at the back yeah there's 90 there's 90 exercises in here so I'm loving this and just working my way through this slowly which is why a review is going to take forever because I want to do like every exercise in this. And lastly really quickly I have some other recommendations for like forum type resources so I really like discord. I have a my own like little discord chat with other bookish witches and like woo woo spiritual pagan people um, that we kind of all talk and like bounce ideas off each other that's really helpful to have like an online witchy resource. The other resource that I use a lot is Reddit and that's like hit or miss but I do check it probably daily. And the three forums that I check the most are SAS Witches, which stands for I think like science, science atheist, science seeking, some, I don't know what it actually stands for but it's basically like agnostic and atheist witches who are much more science based than um, there's not like Wiccan and other people on there like it's all just like more secular witches. So I really like that because that's the kind of lean that I tend to take. The second one I follow a lot is Apprentice Witches because that is more like beginner witches with beginner questions and I do follow just the general witchcraft forum. Um, that gets like a lot of <laughs> questions and stuff though, a lot of like beginner stuff and a lot of just like discussion and people getting mad at like newer witches and just like a lot but it does help me to filter out like things and um get ideas and stuff like that. And the last recommendation I have is Facebook groups. This is the one that I'm like most hesitant of because I find that the Facebook groups are most like overwhelming, misinformation. You have to kind of know a little bit before you go into them. I'd say like I wouldn't use Facebook groups only as your resource. I'd use some of these other things first so that you know what to filter out of what people are saying. You get a lot more like personal like 
this is how I do things kind of people. I haven't run into anything super bad, but you just get more people that are like my way or the highway or just recommending things that are like kind of just not smart, like, you know, doing witchcraft instead of going to a doctor. <laughs> like some of that will happen, but what I like it for is finding local groups. So I have found like a local witchy group in my town that will be doing like outdoor meetups and stuff like as safe, you know, as possible in current circumstances. And then obviously when things are like, normal-ish again. We can do actual stuff like together and like meetups and stuff, but more like a study circle, not like covens or anything like that. That's not something that I am at all interested in, but more like we're gonna get together and all talk about our individual paths and like have witchy people in person that we can talk to and like commune with and you know like maybe do some holiday stuff together, but again no like spell casting or anything. So I recommend that if you want more like in-person stuff. You can at least find one like a witchcraft group for your state. That's where I started and then in the state group they had stuff about like city groups and that's how I found my city one. Whew, so that was a very long video, but um, comment them below. Let me know if you have any recommendations for me on these more educational creators. That is what I love the most. And also let me know if you want me to do that more like aesthetics Instagram post about um, all the like pretty Instagrams that I follow that are into witchy stuff. And that includes shops, um, tarot card like companies and creators, and just like aesthetic witches. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.